So for this example, this is example two, chapter 11. We have a consolidation, uh, we have a, a soft clay layer. So 20 feet of soft clay and we are taking soil sample at the middle of the clay layer and conduct pre uh, 1D consolidation test. So we get this data here. Okay. Initial void ratio and these two slopes, the compression and the recompression index, and then the pre-consolidation pressure. Okay. So that's pretty typical what you get from a 1D consolidation test. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a large sandy field on top. So we're going to load the soil by placing sandy field on top. And we know the unit weight of this sandy field and also the height of this sandy field. So it's 10 feet of sandy field. Okay. So that's what's given. And then let's estimate the primary consolidation settlement. Okay. So that's the setup. And to do this, uh, to estimate the primary consolidation settlement, so the first thing is to calculate these three stress values. So the initial stress, so this is at the middle of the clay layer. Okay. So the sampling location. So at the middle of this clay layer, we know the initial effective stress. So this is the initial value again, before you put that sandy field on top. So the initial value, so this is initial. So before that sandy field is put on top. So this initial value, effective stress, uh, we have done this calculation back in chapter nine. Uh, so you have 10 feet of saturated clay. So this is water table. So it's 10 feet of saturated clay. I can use the buoyant unit weight. So just pay attention to the unit weight you're using. Uh, since we're calculating the effective stress in the clay layer, so the saturated unit weight should be that of the clay. Okay. So this is 10 times 100 right here, okay. minus 62.4. And if you substitute these numbers, uh, these uh, 376 pound per square foot, okay, PSF. So that is the initial effective stress at the middle of the clay layer. And then the final effective stress after sandy fuel is put on top. So this final effective stress is the initial value plus the change in effective stress due to that 10 feet of sandy field. Okay. So it's 10 feet of gamma moist. Okay. So that's the change in stress due to that 10 feet of sandy field, 10 times gamma moist of sand. So that is 376 plus 10 times moist unit weight of sand that sandy field is 120. Okay. So the final effective stress in this case is 1576 PSF, pound per square foot. Okay. So that is the final effective stress after you put the sandy field on top. And then to determine the primary consolidation settlement as C, we need to know which case it is. Okay. So that's where you compare these values to your pre-consolidation pressure. So pre-consolidation pressure as C is 376 PSF. Okay. And if you compare with these values, you notice that, so initially the effective stress in the clay layer is the same as its pre-consolidation pressure which means this is a normally consolidated clay. And if you want to look at the three cases, see which one it is. This is case one in our notes. So this is case one. So for normally consolidated clay, we're going to use the compression index CC to calculate the, the uh, settlement. Okay. So then this SC.
is going to be h over one plus e naught. And for case one, we have the slope cc times log sigma f prime sigma naught prime. Okay. So that's case number one. And then h, so here again, h is the thickness of the entire consolidating layer. Okay, so for this example, okay, h is 20 feet, it's not 10, it's the thickness of the entire consolidating layer. So it's not the depth at which the sample was taken, it's the thickness of the entire layer. So make sure you're substituting the correct edge here. So this is a very common mistake, I see. So make sure you're substituting that 20 feet of uh, that thickness plus uh, over one plus E naught. E naught is the void initial void ratio. That's what you get from the consolidation test. So that's 1.2. And CC is, 0.5 in log of 1576 over uh, 376. So then the settlement you get is 2.82. The unit is feet. Okay, so that is the primary consolidation uh, settlement, 2.82 feet. 